ఓం నమో వెంకటేశాయ శుక్లాంబరధరం విష్ణు శశివర్ణం చతుర్భుజం ప్రసన్న వదనం ధ్యాయే సర్వవిఘ్నోపశాంతయే వ్యాసాయ విష్ణురూపాయ వ్యాసరూపాయ విష్ణవే నమో వై బ్రహ్మనిదే వాసిష్టాయ నమో నమ లక్ష్మీనాథ సమారంభం నాథయాము నమ ధ్యమాస్మదాచార్య పర్యంతం వందే గురు పరంపరాం వార్తాయ ప్రతిబోధి భగవత నారాయణేన స్వయం వ్యాసేన గ్రతి తాం పురాణ మునిన మధ్యే మహాభారతం అద్వైతామృతవర్షిణీం భగవతీం అష్టాదశాధ్యాయినీం అంబత్వామనుసంధామీ భగవద్గీతే భవద్వేషిణీం వసుదేవసుతం దేవం కంసచాణూరమర్ధనం దేవకీ పరమానందం కృష్ణం వందే జగద్గురు ఓం నమో వెంకటేశాయ ప్రణాం శబరిపడి చేస్టుడే వీ సా how arjuna was so self confident so he was almost ready to start the battle getting his uh, bow and arrow ready but, but just before that he just told krishna senayor ubhayor madhye ratham stape me achuta that's what he said take my chariot and position it in, in between the warring factions that's what he told krishna and then krishna took uh, the chariot and placed it in front of uh, in, in between the two warring factions and said పౌత్రాన్సుహృదీ actually this uh, uh, swasuran surde seva so part of shloka number 26 so tatra apashyat sthitan parthah pitrun at pitamahan acharyan matulan bratrun putran pautran sakin tada swasuran suhurda cha eva senayoho ubayorap so he is saying all of the people that means he, krishna placed him in such a way that he could see both the faction that means he has placed almost like perpendicular to the this you know this warring faction so he was able to see the people on, on both the sides so what is he saying tatra dar apashyat he saw that what did, what did he say tan uh, tatra apashyat sthitan that people have been positioned there partha the, the arjuna started pitrun that means he saw all this parents parents in the sense all the people you know is they not only his cousin fathers and all those people with the people are all equal unto fathers also like you know guru is also a father pitrun ata pitamahan also he saw this uh, all his grand sires the bishma pitamar and so on acharya the drona and others he saw that acharya matulan matulan means all his maternal uncles matulan bratrin all his cousin brothers and brothers putran the sons pautran the grandsons sakin all his friends tata all those people he saw that swasuran his father in law sukhurdachi all the people who are all his well wishers on this side cha eva senayoho ubayorpi that means in the middle of ubayo that ubaya means both the two that means he saw on both the the sides of this army he saw his uh, parents he saw his uh, uh, grand sire he saw his uh, guru acharya he saw his uh, maternal uncles he saw his brothers he saw his uh, sons he saw his uh, grandchildren all his friends well wishers father in laws on everybody he saw everybody okay shloka number 27 tan samichas kaunteyas sarvan bandhu navastitan kripaya paraya vishto vishidan nidam abravit so tan samichya kaunteya that means having kaunteya that is kunti san arjuna tan that means having samichat so that means having seen all these people sarvan bandhu navastan all his relatives have been assembled over there is in their respective positions kripaya para avishtah that means it was completely taken over by kripaya that means all his compassion vishidan adim idam abravit that means he has completely that means while he started lamenting two slokas before he was so self confident in when bordering on the stage of arag and saying that no oh, i want to see over the people who have assembled on this on the evil minded duryodhana and all those things but suddenly on seeing all the people on both the, the people on both sides both on the side of kauravas as well as on the side of pandu because he knows in the war obviously a lot of people there will be a lot of casualties a lot of people will die in the process both on his side as well as on the side of his enemy so having looked at all the people who are all almost all of them are either his relatives or close friends or his well wishers so both on both sides so having seen all of them then immediately he was completely taken over by compassion misplaced compassion that's what we'll see later so misplaced compassion or misplaced you know this affection towards all of them 
then completely he was started lamenting so vishida so that is this is how now the bhagavad gita is slowly unfolding till now we saw only the the army getting assembled and then people you know talking uh, duryodhana talking then arjuna talking then everybody blowing their conches and so on now only after seeing all these things arjuna starts completely breaking down and that's what it is and the children will get prepared for the board examinations they will study very well in this study holidays they will do all those things they will stop all the plays they watch in tvs and all those things they go to the examination also in a very brave manner the moment they receive the question paper they see the first question is something which they have not studied immediately they start breaking down no? they start breaking down this the mouth becomes dry they start perspiring so like that arjuna on seeing the people on of his own relatives kitan kin friends relatives all these people on both the sides immediately he started thinking that you know when the war takes place some of the casualties will take place and i will lose some of my kitan kin as well as my close relatives as well as my well wishers so immediately the compassion took over him and therefore he started lamenting so what did he say arjuna vacha drishtva mevam swajanam krishna yutsam samupasthitam sidanti me gatrani mukam cha parisrushyati so arjuna says what does he say drishtva evam so that means drishtva having seen the imam all this swajanam all this kit and kin swajanam once on once on people all his kinsmen krishna now here he is addressing as krishna so far we have seen the names given to krishna in this first he started with madhava then rishikesha then achyuta now the fourth one is krishna so he is being addressed as krishna oh krishna now he is saying yutsum samupasthitam that means fighting yutsum means one who wants yodham ichuh yutsu that means who want to fight and in fact the first lok also we had this same name yuts also that means they are very keen to fight this battle so for the people who have assembled all these people are the position in this very places for the sake of fighting this battle sidanti sidanti means sidanti mama gatrani gatrani means all my limbs of this body so all my limbs of body sidanti means they are all you know shaking quivering that means it means my body is are completely trembling my body all the parts of my body are completely trembling mukam cha parisishyati mukam actually in sanskrit means mouth so mukam cha parisushyati that means uh, my mouth is also drying up so having seen all these things he completely breaks down and he says all my body is trembling and is shaking and my mouth has become completely dry so the next shloka he says vepete tu sharire me roma harshan sa jayate gandivam samsrayate hastat vakyeva cha paridahyate that means vepatu hook that means this trembling body sharire that body is also trembling sharire on this body my roma that means my all my hairs are standing on the rain that means the completely because of my you know the kind of this for this uh, the emotions that i have not only the body is trembling all my you know the hairs and all these things are also completely standing up on my on the rain jayate gandivam that means my gandivam which i used to hold it in a very pride and all this was to fight so bad, confidently now this gandivam is also slowly slipping out from my hand that means it's uh, i'm losing control of this body also that's what he's saying jayate samete hastat tvakcha eva paridahyate that means my skin that is my entire skin and the body is completely burning that means that is the kind of you know perspiration and then the kind of in you know, the body is completely has got hot is getting heated up and my body is also the skin on the body is completely burning so that means having seen all these people what he is saying is you know my my entire body is trembling and then my uh, the my, the mouth has become dry not only the body is the entire body is shaking all my you know, the hair is coming uh, is standing on the end my skin is also burning and then my gandivam that means my this bow that i am holding in my hand is slipping away from me that means i am losing control of my body itself move on to the next shloka na cha shaknyo pyavastha tum bhramati vacha me manaha nimittani cha pashyami viparitani keshava so na cha shaknomi avastha tum Brahmati vacha me mana. That means nacha shaknom. Shakna means able. That is ability. I am unable to. Na shaknom means I am not able to. I am not able to stay. You know, I am getting completely being forgetting. That means brahmati. That means I am getting the mode of Brahma. So forgetting and then you know my mana. That means my mind is also forgetting several things. Like as I told you, when the student goes to the examination hall, the moment he sees his question, but everything whatever he has read seems to be completely forgetting. It becomes completely blank. So that means I am not able to. Control will stay in that in that mode, and therefore everything in my mind is completely. I'm, I'm getting into the mode of forgetfulness. All my memory is getting lost. Nimitta ani cha pasyami, viparita ani cha keshava. Oh keshava! So this is the first, fifth uh, name and name that is coming for us. Krishna Keshava. Keshava is one meaning is Keshi Hantaram. That means one who killed 
Keshi and therefore is called as Keshava. Other meaning is Keshava is Ka Isha Vaha. That means Ka is Brahma, Isha means Parameshwara. Va means one is Vasha. That means one is having have the Brahma Parameshwara control. Is called as Keshava. So that means, oh Keshava. Paritani Nimitani Cha Pashyam. That means I am seeing all, you know, untoward kind of uh, this uh, signs that are happening. That means uh, things are not uh, turning out to be favorable to me. That's why I'm trying to, I get a feeling that things are turning out to be completely unfavorable to me. That is the kind of, you know, feelings that I'm getting. So all this misfortune kind of signs, I'm able to see that. So in these three slokas, Arjuna has completely lost himself. The moment he sees all the people and then, the, in fact, in the previous uh, day, Dhritarashtra has sent a message through Sanjaya, almost on the similar line, saying that, you know, please give up your uh, this fight for this battle. Because when you when you start the battle, almost people will die on both sides. You will lose your people, we will lose our people. And it is not good for that, for the entire Kuru clan or some kind of a message is sent there. At that time, Arjuna was not uh, keen on uh, listening to that message. And now you know, he is be completely taken over by this kind of a grief. Arjuna, this kind of a grief and that feeling of saying that all the people on both sides will completely lose people on both the sides. And therefore, I'm not able to uh, digest that. And therefore, uh, the entire thing. My body is, I'm losing control of this body. Uh, I'm losing control of my mind. Mind is not able to concentrate. Everything is getting for, forgotten. I am seeing a lot of, you know, untoward uh, kind of signs that are happening that. And therefore, I don't think it is worth fighting this battle. That is the kind of conclusion he has come to do. So we'll see whatever he says in the uh, subsequently also. So from now onwards, the entire logic of Arjuna is to completely abandon this battle and keep running away from this battlefield. That is what uh, from till now, from now till the end of this uh, Arjuna's Vishad Yoga. Vasudevasutam Devam Kamsa Chanura Mardhanam Devaki Paramanandam Krishnam Vande Jagat Gurum Sarvam Shri Krishna Namastu Krishna